Hello guys, this is your friendly producer slash blogger Pao and now finally in HD. I hope you're all doing well. I'm just a little bit hangover today, but this won't stop me in recording this video. And you can already see on my screen that um, there's a blog post I wrote for my blog at beatsbypow.com uh, basically explaining how to set up OBS Studio uh, to pick up an audio coming out of your door when you're using an external audio interface. Because uh, when I tried to do this for the first time in my life, uh, it gave me a solid headache and I was actually unable to solve it until uh, the moment I found uh, this little plugin called Voxengo Recorder eventually solved all my problems by rerouting, basically rerouting the audio from the DAW uh, using a different audio driver uh, that can be set up uh, in OBS Studio and you can use it for streaming the audio from your DAW. So, let's uh, talk about a few things first. Uh, so. The hardware you need, uh, you need of course a webcam, basically any cheap Chinese GoPro clone will do. Uh, you need an audio interface, I'm rocking here my Native Instruments Complete Audio 6 and you need a microphone. And besides those things, uh, I should also mention that you need a decently powerful machine because uh, streaming HD video can be quite CPU hungry and if you have only some old dusty laptop you could possibly run into issues with CPU overheating after a certain period of time and uh, you should also have uh, like a fast and stable internet connection at your disposal because streaming live video is also really bandwidth hungry um, I think uh, more than 13 megabytes per second should be enough uh, to pull out a decent video stream but I strongly uh, advise to test it first uh, before you make your first official live stream so you save yourself some awkward trouble later yeah anyway uh, that's for hardware and now let's take a look at software you need the first thing you need is the OBS studio which is currently, I think, the most popular desktop streaming software today. Uh, then you need a DAW, uh, it's FL Studio in my case, and you need uh, the plugin I was talking about, the Voxengo Recorder. All those, uh, all those two pieces of software can be downloaded for free. Uh, the links are included in the blog post and I will also include them in the description of this video so you can easily find them. Uh, yeah, it's 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 uh, free software. So basically, yeah, let's get down to business. So I will open up my copy of OBS and I will set up a screen recording first. Here you can already see that there's uh, an empty set, uh, empty scene in my OBS. I'll be using for this tutorial. So let's add that screen recording. So click this plus icon and then click display capture. I will call it the screen. And nice and easy, here it goes. So let's go straight to the step two and this is setting up a webcam. Now uh, this is a little bit troublesome uh, in this tutorial. Uh, I can show it to you properly because if I activate a webcam in this copy of OBS Studio, it will stop in the copy I'm running to record this tutorial, so I can't do it. Anyway, you should do it like this. Add video capture device. I will call it cam. Uh, I, will, I will add main cam because this way it won't show up, but uh, it will make my uh, cam freeze. But in your case, uh, adding a cam should work. Uh, here you can see I selected my, my default uh, webcam and uh, I've let uh, the resolution FPS type settings to device default. So when you have your webcam set up, you can go to point number three and that's setting up your microphone. 
So for the sake of this tutorial, uh, I will assume you already have your microphone like fully operational and working. And in OBS, you can add it like this uh, by clicking the audio input capture. I'll call it the mic and then selecting uh, the hardware device. But as you can see, uh, the mic is recording only on one side of the stereo. And in order to fix this, uh, you have to click this little cogwheel uh, icon and then click Advanced Audio Properties. And for the mic, uh, you have to choose Down Mix to Mono. And after you click it, you can already see that it's working and the mic is recording your voice on the both sides of the stereo field. So that's, that's it for the mic. We can continue with step number four. And it means I have to open my door. So let's go to my Fruity Loops. And I will add into the last slot of my master channel the Voxengo recorder. And in Voxengo recorder, I just have to choose the driver I will be using to route my audio through to the OBS. So in my case, this is the Realtek digital output. Then I have to change the output to from file to MME. And it's almost all. And now all it takes is just to push the start. But first I have to go to step number five and first tell OBS uh, to listen. So plus icon once more and this time I'll add an audio output capture. I will call it the vo vox rec. Yeah. And here I will choose the real tech digital output also. And yeah, uh, it's all set up so now I can test it. So I will go to my FL Studio, push start. And now you can see it's said sending the audio. So when I I'll play only the uh, metronome and switch to OBS, and you can see that uh, the OBS is listening. It's a little bit louder, so I will make it a little bit quieter, and I will stop it because it's really annoying. But yeah. The demonstration was there. You can see it's working. So this is how you can easily um, make your OBS listen to your door. And now you can basically, with this, with this knowledge, you can now stream your pro production sessions, beat making sessions uh, to your fan base. You can stream it to Facebook, to YouTube, uh, to Twitch. Actually, I've recorded also another video tutorial that explains how to set up it really quickly with Restream.io, which can uh, basically make your stream appear on multiple platforms at once. So uh, I will include a link in the video description too, uh, and it's also in the blog post. So if you want to know how to do it, just check out the blog post or check out the video description, click the link and check out the tutorial. Anyway, if you have any questions uh, or, or anything else to say, maybe some different way how to uh, do this uh, I, I, I have been able to find. Uh, just let me know down in the comments under this video and I will try to answer every single comment. And yeah, basically that's it. So uh, I, I hope uh, this will help you a bit and see you next time guys. Bye.